Over the next few weeks, I actually have a few Casios to show you guys. Two Casios today, we're gonna take a look at some Duros. One is a classic or a neo-classic Duro, and one is a modern Duro that I just recently purchased off of Amazon, which I have plans for, and we'll get back to that in just a minute. However, let's flip the camera and take a look at two Casio Duros. So today we're doing a double sort of review. It's not really an unboxing, but I have two watches here. I have one Casio Duro. This is a vintage Casio Duro that I actually recently purchased on Whatnot. And this is a Casio Duro that I purchased on Amazon. So I have no idea why I purchased two Casio Duros over the span of about two weeks, but we're about to find out. So today we have a modern version here in this box. This is a green dial with a, uh, excuse me, a black dial with a green bezel, uh, and I believe it's an aluminum bezel version. And this is a larger watch. So this was actually surprised me. I didn't actually think of looking at the specs when I purchased it. Uh, when it came, I was surprised that it was on the bigger side. I think it's around 44 millimeters. I think that's what this actually is, and actually do a quick measurement. I think it is 41 or 42 millimeters, but it does seem large. Yeah, it's 44 millimeters. Um, and I thought it was around 42 millimeters for some reason, but there you go. Uh, like I said, black dial, green bezel. The green bezel is why I bought it. I really like the look of this watch. Uh, and I think I'm going to end up oil filling the case on this watch. Now this one is the, on the box it says, it's the MDV-106B-1A3VCF. Uh, but if you go on Amazon, I'll put a link down below so you guys could check it out. Uh, I paid $49 for this watch. It's not a very expensive watch, obviously, but it is a 200 meter dive watch. I believe it has a mineral crystal, but it does get a screwing case back, stainless steel case, stainless steel case back, and crown. The crown is also screwed in. So you do have 200 meters of water resistance and the best selection on this watch isn't bad at all. I have to say, I'm actually impressed with it. I'm not sure if all Casio Duros have bezel action this good, but uh, actually I can tell you they don't because we're about to look at one that doesn't, but uh, there's a little bit of wobble in it and obviously the uh, bezel is printed, so this will scratch and, and age with time. And then of course you have a flat man, uh, mineral crystal, uh, which will scratch with time if you do scratch it. Uh, you have a rubber strap on here. It sort of extends over the lugs a little bit, not sure I love that look, uh, but really not that bad. Now, the other watch that we have here, obviously both of these are quartz. Uh, I do wanna mention that as well. The other watch that we have here is a vintage or neo vintage or neo classic, whatever you wanna call it. I've heard it said a few different ways, but this is a Casio Doro. This is an LED, it's called the Illuminator and it has an LED. So obviously Illuminator, LED. Uh, light in there, but this one is extremely bright. This is the brightest that I have actually seen from Casio and, and all their G-Shocks and regular run-of-the-mill Casios. This is one of the brighter lights that I have seen. Uh, I think it's only one light. Uh, no, it's two. There's one at the bottom and one at the top, and it really does at night light up this watch really well. We'll do a loom shot at the end. I have no idea if anything else is loomed here, including uh, in addition to that light. Now the bezel I said, not as good on here, but sounds and feels as good. The only thing is, uh, and it lines up, it's just really wobbly. So there's almost a whole click of play within this bezel. I'm not sure if that's just because it's a vintage version, but this also gets 200 meters of water resistance. You have a screwed in case back, basically the same case back that you're getting on the other watch. This one was obviously, someone opened it and didn't do a really good job of it. I'll polish that up, but and this is on the original molded end strap. So it is molded to the case. Uh, this came on a bracelet also. If you guys have ever seen these on bracelets, this is a really good looking watch especially considering the price. Now, it does get a stepped case, so it's a little bit of a different case as well, and it is all polished. So you have a polished case, you have a polished bezel, um, which I usually complain about, but it's actually pretty grippy on here. The only thing is you can't grip it at the 12 and six, you have to grip it uh, outside of there because uh, obviously you have that molded strap and it almost meets the bezel, so it's really hard to actually use. You also have a very large, glossy black 
uh, bezel insert on here. I believe that is also aluminum, uh, but that's just something to note. Uh, it still gets 200 meters of water resistance, even though you have this push button light here, just to note. Uh, and a big crown. I'll do measurements on this one as well. This one is smaller. So uh, 42 millimeters, just about 42 millimeters. So not 44 millimeters like the other one. Um, and it has a width and it's, I believe, probably around the same width of 14 millimeters, uh, 200 meters of water resistance. It's the lug to lug that is a lot bigger on here. Um, it is 48.4 at the case, but uh, you know, because of that strap, it's bigger. It's like 56, but it doesn't wear like that because it obviously goes straight down. You get large crown on here for 42 millimeter watch over s almost 70, uh, seven millimeters. And then that extra pusher you got there, uh, basically the same size. So really cool. Uh, this is a very cool watch. I think on whatnot, I paid around 20 something dollars for this watch. I think they go for around a hundred dollars. They are, like I said, Neo vintage, if you want to use that word, but there you go. So 40, uh, over 44 millimeters on the, uh, modern Duro, just about 12.3 millimeters thick, actually. Sorry. That is actually uh, thinner than the uh, the classic version. So there you go. Uh, but you do have that light mechanism in that one. So I'm sure that probably adds some thickness and you have to have a put a you have to put a bigger battery in there. I think it's a CR in there. Uh, 49.3. So a larger lug to lug, but the all in all, it's probably going to wear a little bit bigger uh, either way. But uh, 6.3 millimeters on the crown. So a little bit smaller, but you do get large crown guards on here and then the buckles on these uh a little bit different but both of them not too crazy this is more of a classic style tang buckle and this is more of a just a pressed brushed buckle this one says casio on the keeper this one does not all in all i think i actually like the strap on this one better because it's a little bit more pliable but again this is a old watch from the early 2000s so i have no idea what it was like when it was brand new so it could have been just like this and it just hardened over time uh, red second hand on here, applied indices. Those are filled with loom. You have a fence post minute hand, and then you have an arrow for the hour hand, red arrow for the seconds hand. You have the Duro logo right above the six o'clock, and it just has 200 meters of water resistance Casio right there. Uh, everything else, really nicely finished actually. You have polishing and brushing. I believe that this watch is basically all polished. Uh, on the top. So everything on the top of the watch is polished. You have a little bit of brushing on the back, but not too much at all, actually. Um, and that's really it. Uh, again, you have that little logo right there. This one has super illuminator and 200 meters of water resistance. And it also says quartz below the Casio. And I guess they did away with that in future uh, Duros. I don't think that they say quartz on the dial anymore, but there you go. Uh, very quickly, I'll throw both of these on my wrist and then we will do a loom shot. Like I said, I paid $49 for this. I'll put a link to this down below at Amazon. Uh, also a link down below to Whatnot. I bought this off of uh, Keeping Time. And obviously I buy a lot of watches off of her, Mandy and Titus. Uh, they have a bunch of really cool watches and usually I have watches like this that pop up that you never see for sale. And I decided to just jump on it because it was such a good price. And it is a really cool dive watch. The only thing I wish is that it was on the bracelet. The bracelet that comes on these look phenomenal. Uh, I'm not sure about the quality, but I know that they look great. But here's another watch that I bought from uh, Keep Watching and Mandy. Uh, this was, uh, I believe, $47. And this is a Caraval, a vintage 666 uh, sub style watch. And it has uh, just a really great friction fitted bezel, really great condition, working really strongly. Uh, all in all, just a great looking watch for $47. And they go for a lot more than that on eBay. Um, and that's the reason why, again, I jumped on that without uh, hesitation. So here is the 44 millimeter ver uh, version of the Duro on my seven and a half inch wrist. And you can see it does wear large. <laughs> you can see it wears large on my wrist, but it's, it's a good looking watch. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with the bezel action. It's a little bit hard for me to grip because it is polished, the bezel, but the bezel action on here is phenomenal for a $49 watch. I think this is probably the best bezel action I have ever experienced on a inexpensive $49 watch. It really is. So uh, very quickly, here is the Neo Classic or Neo Vintage, whatever you want to call it. 
uh, Casio Duro Super Illuminator on my seven and a half inch wrist. Now this does wear better. And I, I gotta be honest, I think I'm gonna oil fill the, um, the regular Duro, but I think I'm just gonna keep this one as is. Uh, this is a phenomenal watch to bring, you know, traveling. Um, it's just a good looking watch. And I think I trust that it's still 200 meters of water resistance, uh, even though it's a vintage, technically a vintage watch, almost 20 years old, but I, I think I would, I would still use this in the water. I maybe not go professionally diving with it or anything like that, but I definitely would wear this, you know, swimming in the ocean or in a pool. There you go. So very quickly, we're gonna do a loom shot and also we'll see that super illuminator in the dark. So loom is not crazy on both of these watches. Obviously, you know, decently applied to the hands, not, not very, very good. And then pretty much lightly applied to the indices. But like I said, the super illuminator does have a trick up its sleeve. It is that button right there. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, on screen it looks absolutely ridiculous, but in person it's not that, that bad. It actually does charge the loom a little bit when you light it up. So uh, I'm not sure how long it will actually stay illuminated and how long the battery life will last if you keep it illuminated like this, but as long as you press the button, it will light up, let go, and it goes off in just a few seconds, and there you go. So <laughs> a really awesome dive watch that is affordable. And I believe you can get these under $100 in places like eBay. Like I said, I paid around 20 something dollars on whatnot. Uh, right now, they're, you know, obviously really great bargains there. So I definitely suggest signing up. There is a link down in the description below. That link is to whatnot. You get $10 towards your first purchase. If you were to purchase this watch, you would have only paid $10 for it. So there you go, why not? Uh, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Tell me what you think of both of these watches. Like I said, I'll put a affiliate link for this watch, the, um, the Doro in my description down below. Uh, I think they're really great for $49 and you know around $100. Uh, I think you really cannot go wrong. Uh, obviously, uh, you do get uh, mineral crystals on both of these. This has a dome mineral crystal. That's something else to note uh, that's a little bit cool about the uh, Super Illuminator. I think it's just a cool vintage watch. Uh, I definitely uh, am very excited about this. Again, I wish I got it on a bracelet though. Uh, that's the only thing that I regret. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. And I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. There will be a link to this watch. Uh, click that link if you are interested in this watch. There's also links to whatnot, as I mentioned. If you click that link and sign up, you get $10 towards your first purchase on whatnot. And of course, I do giveaways and live streams there all the time. So definitely stay tuned for my next live stream there. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you in the next video.